Hey, folks, welcome to InTheMoneyStocks.com's live trading action video. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here. Today's date is Thursday, October 1st, 2015. Let's talk about the biotechs. Biotechs are down slightly today, but I want to tell you this. Biotechs are going to continue going up in the short term. What do I mean? Well, just l earlier this week, I called for a bounce when we were trading around the 290 range, and we went to about 303. So we're still about $10 above that level. But I'm here to tell you that the bounce is not even close to over. You're going to see the biotechs go to th the 310, and then potentially as high as 325 before they top out. You might say, well, well, why do you think that? Well, just take a look at the levels. First of all, this is the daily chart. Notice how you hit a perfect little double bottom right here, which signaled the bounce to the upside. Then look at the last couple days, and this is really important. Let's go to the intraday chart right now. Here's your intraday chart. Look at how biotech put in the low, higher low, equal to that with the double bottom, so never went below this initial low here, and then these are higher lows. So you got higher lows forming. Then look at the price action today. I think today's price action is probably spelling out the best signal to the upside. What do I mean by that, folks? Take a look at the SPY, all right? The SPY down today, we're still down 55 cents, about a third of a percent. We were down close to uh, three quarters of a percent. What was the biotech index doing today? The IBB basically flat along this line. What that tells me, again, that you didn't see a sell-off, and again, let me show you that here. All right, see how the market sold off like this? Usually when that happens, the biotechs over the last couple weeks have led to the downside, meaning you'd see the IBB down $10, $20. You know, in that realm when the markets were crashing to the downside here earlier today before they kind of stabilized and are now basically just slightly down. That did not happen with the IBB. The biotechs did not move lower. And again, you can even make a case that you have a nice bullish consolidation pattern here. What you're looking for is a break of this area right here, which matches the 200 moving average on the intraday 10-minute chart. When you take that out, which is around the 303 level, you will head to 310. If you take out 310 on a closing basis, 325 is your next next stop. I expect that to happen into early next week. And again, guys, you heard it here first, the IBB showing relative strength to the market, a big change in character. I don't think the IBB is done fully going down. I think after you get this bounce to about 310 and then 325, you'll then turn around and head lower. But as a short-term swing trade, I love the IBB here, folks. The price action on it is very, very bullish compared to the price action on the S&P 500. And that's a big change in character considering where things were just a couple days ago. All right, folks, you want more information on this? You want exact entries and exits? Come join us at InTheMoneyStocks.com. You can see exactly what I'm buying and selling. My exact entries are given, time stamped, and everything. Come join us here at InTheMoneyStocks.com.